All right, got up a little bit before eight o'clock. It's about 8.30 now. Just got done doing my necklace and changing the, the hasp, all the little, all the little tiny loops from the little, what, 72 piece kit that I got yesterday. I just got that done. Now I got the title and the lean release from the guy. For the trailer, so I'm gonna go uh, get it, get the trailer insured. And then I'm gonna go get it. Uh, I'm gonna get insurance on it. On you don't have to. Usually, the trailers, whatever's on the trailer, is covered by uh, the truck. But I'm gonna get specific insurance just for the enclosed, and then go over and register it and get a license plate for it. And then I need to run to. I'm probably gonna run to Walmart on the way there. Need to get one more big tote for like the cooking stuff and other stuff that I want to throw in there. Figured that out yesterday. Um, da -da -da -dum. I want to see if I can get the DNL. See if they can get my last get that little last little problem with the trailer looked at and swap out my big uh, my big truck. Swap out for a, a seven pin receiver plug. Might go to. Harbor Freight again and get uh, two of the smaller jack stands. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll see, I got enough stuff to keep me busy, but I'm gonna try to get all this stuff running around done while it's cold outside, until it gets up to the 73 it's supposed to today. I think I'm gonna stay in town all day, I'm not sure. I gotta see about the guy at four o'clock, so let's get all this stuff done as I can. Everything was going so good. I went to Harbor Freight, I got jack stands, because that'll be for my, uh, or first, actually, I went to Walmart. I got another tote and a couple other things that I actually forgot about, which is good. Um, then I went to Harbor Freight and I got the jack stands because I need those for the back of the rail with the sand, with the paddle tires on it. Take the, they don't need to be sitting on there $600 a piece. And then uh, I got the free gift from Harbor Freight, which is a cool little magnetic and hanging little LED light, which is free with my coupon. And I used the 20% off coupon from the uh, thing uh, I got on my phone. Just hooked up in Harbor Freight coupons, be able to just scan it from my phone. And then uh, da -da. I think I picked something else up there. Oh, I got a little 12 volt plug in uh, air compressor. You know, it goes into your cigarette lighter. Hell, that's. 10 bucks so good to have one of those laying around especially to throw on the truck because I don't take my big compressor bigger um then went to Poncho's got the chicken tacos I took Ryan last week man they were phenomenal um then I went to Allstate and got insurance put on the big enclosed not too bad we try to do the buggy the sand rail and she's gonna have to look some more into it we almost could have done it but the value was too high for that policy so oh well um then i yeah just came i went to the bank I had to go run to the bank and do some stuff there so i got that done then i came over to get the trailer get a tag for it and everything went in there and i was he's like bam bam have everything he's like man you're good to go because it's josh bingham i went to high school with him what should i grew up with him and uh then the earlier was like Oh, hey, do you have your uh, out-in-state inspection? I'm like, oh, shit. So I got to go home, hook that big bitch up, and drive it over to, what, 200 on 200, 200 Southwest Gage, which is right off the highway. But, yeah, can't wait to haul that 36-footer through a little bit of maneuvering through there. So that's awesome. Just to get a little inspection to say, okay, we're good. Whatever, and then come back and register and tag it. But hell, we're knocking a lot of shit out. By the time we'll be done with all this, it'll be phenomenal out to get everything done. And then I can get in my shop and get the last bit of stuff done there and be kick ass for the rest of the week. Especially since it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So if we can get all this shit done today. Keep going. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I noticed that my hose has moved. I noticed Creston already started bringing dirt over. Then I was getting everything ready to hook the trailer up. And then he came over. He's already bringing another load of dirt. We need about three, but he's not charging me for the dirt just for him leveling it out because 
I'm it's the dirt is coming from the land that I bought from him. So we're shooting. Let's get the heck out of here and go with this thing inspected. Shit, where to start? I got and got it uh, registered, or I got the inspection done. It took three minutes, five minutes. Damn thing, Tw worst easiest, worst twenty bucks I've ever spent in my life. See that? But then I drove the truck and the trailer and parked it over in front of my mom's house rental. I took her terrain to uh, go get it registered and uh, got all registered. But now they don't give you tags. They give you a 30 day tag and then they mail you a new tag and they don't have the bumps on it. It has like a, it's weird. We'll have to see it when it gets in. But um, came over here for the past hour and plus, Robert and mom and I are playing with the dogs outside. Robert's is out there. Mom just brought the ladder back up here because while we were all sitting out bullshitting for the past hour enjoying the weather, Dean over here, he got uh, gutter guards. Oh, we can see him up there. But he got gutter guards and he came over bullshitting with us. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I was able to do the whole house for like a hundred bucks. I'm like, I've been meaning to do that for years. I'm like, shit. And you guys know me, I, ADHD squirrel. So I literally said, mom, give me your vehicle. So I went and went to Menards and just spent $130 to get the whole house and the shop done. Got 60 of them, got a whole case of them. So I'm gonna start cleaning out the gutters and put in those gutter guards now. You know me, I'm squirrely. I start seeing something and something I need to get done, so I do it. So I start doing it. Woo, a little after six o'clock. Beautiful side up here. But there you go. Gutter guards on the whole house. Done. I just need to do the shop. We'll do that another day. So that is a beautiful freaking sight. Didn't take very long. It took what a couple hours. Right? A couple hours. About all it took. Yeah, whole house done. Because I despise doing gutters. I hate it. 136 bucks, and I have all this, and we have still a half a box left that uh, I'll do the shop ones with. And Robert was outside and gave us a little bit of hand and we were all hungry. So I told mother to grab my wallet, gave Robert my card and sent him on the way to Spangles to pick us all the food. So we got our food sitting inside waiting, getting all that shit out. No wonder it wasn't drained. <laughs> no wonder we couldn't get it flushed out. <laughs> we got all four, three corners flushed out, couldn't get one. This one, look at all that. Say she's full now. I'm running the hose through it. Get all that crap out. Good, now let's get inside and eat. Other stuff to do. Shop another day, because my knees and legs are killing me. But I'm so excited because it's done. Got all the gutters cleaned, because I was already gonna clean them today, but now I don't have to worry about cleaning gutters. Win. Okay. Whoo, home. Oh, buddy called me, so I was talking to him on the way home. But I got the trailer all in fact I'm getting good at this damn thing. But came home, like I said, my neighbor was doing uh, the dirt. Well, how much you guys can see. But he uh, got the whole thing even leveled out. We'll show you guys in the morning. And it's all that nice hard packed clay. Phenomenal. Yeah, we'll show you guys in the morning. That's awesome. But on the way home. The guy we were talking today, the member of the quad, and doing the uh, the trade for the truck, finally hit me up. He got everything done and good. So I got the truck loaded to the trailer, hit it up. Now I'm gonna load up the quad and the snowplow, head out. Be there about nine o'clock. Let's go. All right. Shit, got it done a little after eight o'clock, eight fifteen. Got it loaded up. I even put the snowplow on him, so I don't have to strap that thing down extra. I already got it on. But got everything. We're gonna grab the dog. Laying on the canvas, grab my gun, you know, hey, just in case I'm driving an hour away and it's nighttime. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Come on, let's go, load up. Oh, you guys wanna see? One, two, three. Oh, baby. Woo, we going now. Got everything back in business. Takes a little bit of effort. Figure it out. I am dead tired. It is like 12.45 in the morning. I just got back. The kid 
talked to me for like two hours. He was a long talker. I'm long winded as is, but damn. Stopped by McDonald's, got some food, some I was starving. But here we go. My little rider. Traded my quad straight across for a 96 or 97, I don't remember now. Dodge to go to sport with 172,000 miles. Great looking little truck. Runs good, does good. Guess you guys can't see on this side. I'm tired, I can't even think straight. But, yep, good deal. Not loan loading shit, I'm leaving it sit tonight. And get everything unloaded and get my happy ass inside. But this deal was six weeks in the making. Told him we'd do it, but they had a, his step parents got in a motorcycle wreck in Wisconsin, so he's been back and forth with that. And uh, transmission pants started leaking, so he fixed that and everything for me. But yeah, got rid of that. Wouldn't say a crappy quad. It was a good quad for around the property, but he just needs something to ride around on his five acres and do work on. So that'd be perfect. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we're gonna put this over at my buddy's house and sell this truck and see what we can show you guys for a profit. The hustle never ends. It's been a long day, been up since 8 a.m. It's already almost 1, so, long day. Time to get inside and get showered and go to bed. <laughs>